Why, hello there. So I wanted to feel some like October-y Halloween vibes. So I got a book and it is called mm -hmm, Dark Harvest by Norman Partridge. Also, this book, it's gonna be a movie. It comes out, I wanna say September 9th. The story, it takes place in 1963 in Halloween. Every year on Halloween, they have what they call the run. And there is this like, it's basically like a scarecrow that comes to life, but it has a pumpkin head and it's made out of vines and it's part of this yearly ritual thing that happens in this town. For some reason, because of it, people can't like cross the line or leave this town ever. So the whole thing is there's this entity called Sawtooth Jack and he lives on Halloween night and he, I guess, resurrects or becomes alive on this evening and all the like 16 year old teenage boys in town, they send him out to go take this creepy pumpkin entity down and whoever wins apparently gets to like leave town, their family gets a bunch of money Oh, and, and for funsies, they lock them in the rooms for five days prior and don't feed them. And so one of the things too is that this pumpkin headed entity, Sawtooth Jack, is like stuffed full of candy. So, so these starving kids, you know, they're like, <laughs> gonna chase this weird entity stuffed full of candy down and smash it and kill it and get the candy and eat it because they're freaking starving. It's like having a starved rabid dogs at this point. So it's kind of a crazy thing that this town does and why, what started this? Why does this entity come alive every year? And they also, on this night, the adults are out front of like the grocery stores and the butcher shop like to make sure these kids don't try to like break in and like eat food. Pretty effed up. <laughs> One of the main characters, his name is Pete. Pete McCormick. His mom died and his dad is just an alcoholic who lost his job and he's like if I can win this thing you know I can I can start a new life and get me and my sister out of here and, and things will be better you know because we'll get all this money for the family we'll leave town and it'll be good. But like no one even questions like the unreality of this weirdness. Up until these boys hit this age. I don't know if they actually quite believe it because it was always like rumored and stories. So you have Pete and you have his alcoholic father. Then you have also Sawtooth Jack, which you get some of his perspective too, which was kind of interesting to see as well. Then there's this cop, Officer Rex, more like Officer Prex. He is a piece of crap. Big one. This book was a lot of fun. It was a great Halloween vibe book. It's one of those ones like, okay, you know how like back in the day you watch like monster movies and you know, you just feel like maybe Godzilla was a little misunderstood, you know? I don't know. But that's the kind of vibe you get going on with this. You root for the monster in this and I, I really liked it. And it wasn't the monster's fault that he was a monster, but I can't get too deep into this. And it, I think this will make a really great Halloween-y, Halloweener movie. It was fun. It was scary but not really, like, it was dark. It was effed up. And it was short too, it wasn't very long. It's like a little novella and it's YA, so it doesn't get too like crazy. If you want like a nice fall autumn vibe book and soon to be a movie, Dark Harvest is really fun. The only thing that I, that I didn't like was that you're never told why this pumpkin boy entity like came alive every year and why if the entity Sawtooth Jack reached his destination, which is, this is called the run. If he reaches his destination, which is the church in the center of town, why this would cease to happen anymore? And what does that do to the town? I guess everything falls apart if this entity reaches it. And so why is that? There was never really a why. Or how it even happened in the first place. That somehow they have this alive plant creature pumpkin head. But overall as a story and for fun, it was definitely really enjoyable. Still like a four star read for me. I just wish that they had the backstory more of like, but how did this entity come to be? Why are the townsmen like protecting this secret of what actually is going on? And there's a, you know, a little bit of a twist in it. I like the characters. I liked the, the, the monster, we'll call him a monster. The monster that the friggin' town created. 
but why did the town create it? How did this happen? That's what I want to know. That's kind of what drove me a little crazy, but it was, it was super fun overall. So if you like scary stories, the next video coming up will be another scary book. Also, if you're interested in this book, I will have a link down below that is an affiliate link. So a little bit goes to the channel and then the rest of it goes to indie bookstores and you can actually choose which indie bookstore you'd like to go to, which is pretty darn cool. If you had fun hanging out, put that like button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.